it's only 30 hostages are left alive. You know, that shouldn't surprise any of us, right? How could these these people survive yeah, with that with bombing? That bombardment. Right? I mean, yeah. Now, we have to remember that hundreds of thousands of Israelis were out on the streets a year ago prior to the October 7th attacks and then the start of this genocide. So this is really a continuation of that. And these people, of course, are not, they are not saying end this genocide. They're not saying we need a two-state solution. Uh, they are saying we need our people back. We need our hostages back. You know, the latest polling I saw out of Israel was that nearly 75% of Israelis feel that the destruction in Gaza is either the right amount or needs more destruction, right? Yeah. Three out of four Israelis feel that way. It's a fever that is uh, throughout uh, the entire Israeli government. I mean, this is something no one, the entire cabinet voted against uh, a, a, any pr a proposal for a two-state solution. The uh, Nearly the entire Knesset voted against the two-state solution. I mean, it's clear, and it's clear also, too, that there's really uh, public uh, are dead set against that as well. That's not what people are saying behind closed doors. Those are public votes, and this yeah. is what the people think. This is what their government leaders are, are articulating and say they want, which is in direct contradiction to stated American uh, policy objectives, which is a two-state solution and a ceasefire. Everything that we're lobbying for, they're openly against.